confirmed its first case of COVID-19 here in New Providence. The patient is a 61-year-old female resident of New Providence who does not have a relevant travel history. She presented with symptoms of fever and cough. She is not known to have traveled outside of the country in the past 20 days. And at this time, the patient's exposure is unknown. The patient and family members have been informed of this diagnosis. She is receiving care in the designated isolation area of the Princess Margaret Hospital. We are currently investigating her family and social contacts to determine whether they could have been the source of her infection. This case was detected in the health system because of the Ministry of Health's enhanced surveillance methods for COVID-19. These measures include physicians reporting patients who present with respiratory infections and testing where indicated. We made the decision to expand our testing and have heightened a sensitivity for persons presenting with influenza-like symptoms due to lessons learned from countries that have diagnosed cases in keeping with <clears throat> this enhanced surveillance approach. The investigation is ongoing, and we will update the public within the next 24 hours. Steps are now being taken to respond to this public health threat. These measures include aggressive and extensive contact tracing, recommendations to the community efforts to mitigate transmission, and it is crucial that we understand now that to prevent further transmission depends on what we all must do individually and collectively. To prevent becoming infected with COVID-19, you must, one, wash hands thoroughly with 60% hand sanitizer or soap and water for 20 seconds. Two, do not touch your face with your hands. Three, keep social distancing of three to six feet from persons. Four, do not shake hands, hug, or greet by kissing. Five, if you are sick, use respiratory hygiene, which includes cough into your sleeve not your hands, and cough into a tissue and dispose in a trash can immediately. Six, stay home if you are sick with flu-like symptoms. Seven, if you feel your symptoms require medical care, call your doctor's office or the COVID-19 hotline before you go to the clinic or hospital. There are also strategies which can be applied in various settings for mitigation of community transmission or impact of COVID-19. Homes, schools, workplaces, churches, assisted living facilities and healthcare facilities all must become informed and adopt measures to slow the transmission of disease and in particular to protect 